got a um, battery operated circular saw. Again, this is 18 volt. Whenever you do any um, exploration or anything or any maintenance, we need to take the battery out to isolate that power source. Now this saw we can go through, we can touch the teeth and it's not going to push pull trigger as much as we want. It's not going to turn on unexpectedly. Right, so the main components, we've got, got the bed, the circular saw here, which sits on anything that you want to cut. We've got some not notches on the front, so if you put in at a flat cut, on, you'll want to use that zero. So you, if you want to run that down your line, that is where the blade will cut. If you tilt the blade, so we've got this little option here to undo and tilt the blade across so we can get it all the way up to about 50 degrees on this particular saw. If we do it on 45 there, then we can use this little notch here to guide where that blade's going to cut on there. So we've got various different options for angles that we can cut using the circular saw. Again, so we've got the trigger to start, and on this particular model, this has got a safety trigger, ambidextrous one from both sides, depending if you're right-handed or left-handed. So you need to push that in before you pull the trigger in order to start the circular saw. Okay, it won't put start unless you're pushing that safety trigger. Okay, we've got the guardrail here. Notice it's got a little bit here you can retract it to if you need to. But the guard's spring loaded so it is covering the blade whenever it's not in use. Okay, so when it goes through the timber, that will come back in a week to cut through. And then the guard blade will come back. So if you need to put the saw down at all and the blade's still running, the guard will stop it from running off when it's on the surface. This particular saw has got what we call rip, rip cutting blades in so the teeth are a lot bigger. We've got a lot gu bit bigger gullet as we call it to eject the timber that you're cutting with. So you're gonna this rip saw blade mainly for cutting down the down the grain. So if you're gonna put this piece of wood, we'd rip down the grain that way. Other key features on this, we've got this lever here which will enable you to change the depth of cut. So if you only want to go through Notice this one, this has got markings on. So, if you want to take roughly about a 20 millimeter depth cut, you could set that to 20 and then clamp that down, and it will lock the blade at roughly 20 meters depth. Depth, 20 millimeters even. Or again, change it up to 30, and it'll put 30 millimeters deep. When cutting, you want to have these gullets on cutting through on the underside of your timber. So if I was ripping this piece of timber down, I've got probably too much blade exposed there. So if I pick it up, that is about the gully fully showing, so we can eject all the timber on the underside. So that's the sort of depth that we'd want for cutting this that thickness of timber. Okay, changing the blade, we've got a Allen key in there. Most saws have the allen key attached to them. This one is stored on the handle here. We've got an allen key, which will go into there. And this particular saw has what we call a blade lock. So if you push that in, that will stop that blade from turning while you're trying to undo it or tighten it up. Now these threads are opposite to a normal thread. So the normal thread will tighten clockwise and loosen anti-clockwise. Because these have got a reverse thread, they work on the opposite direction, so it will loosen in a clockwise motion. Like so, that particular one will loosen. The reason for that is, so as this blade's running, so the blade's running in a clockwise motion, it, it'll get the, that bolt will get tighter rather than loosen as it's running. So that's why it's got an opposite thread on it. So you undo that, bear in mind while keeping your finger on that blade lock. Now that that bolt is out, the blade can come away and be removed. 
that little piece that's come off, and now the blade's removed. We've got this particular blade's got the bore matches this drill, this circular saw even. We'll put them back in. We notice here that this is the direction of the blade that's going. We've got an arrow pointing, so we want to make the teeth point in that same direction. So we put it back in. Teeth are going in the same direction as the saw blade is going to go, so it's going to cut on the up stroke. Put that washer back in and the yeah, LMP back in there. And again, tighten it to the same. Battery back in, and then that is ready to go. Again, PPE needed would be ear defenders and goggles. So if we put them in, put the vendors on, we do a very rough cut. Admittedly, it's across the grain. And a nice straight cut in the timber.